Hello there. Uh, this is a walkthrough of your guestbook project, which is based on XML. Uh, it consists of two parts. Uh, basically, I am not good at it English. If you have any queries and ask questions, ask me after the, uh, watching the videos. Uh, in the uh, this walkthrough is divided into two steps. First, in first step, we will just save the data to the XML file and retrieve it to show on the web page. And in the second step, we will do the admin sections work. First of all, create a new website in Visual Studio. I am using Visual Studio 2010, but doesn't matter if you are 2008 or 2005. Create an empty ASP.NET website, and I am naming it Guestbook Live Person. Okay, that's it. First, we need a page where we uh, we will have to show the data and add a form to post new data. But before that, we have will have some XML file where we will store our data. I am naming it database.xml. So this is a blank XML file. I'm just creating a structure for you so that uh, you will come to know where to get the data and how. I'm making a main node commands and each command will go in the command node. And each command will have a name like uh, test user and an email like test at the rate of hotmail.com and a message this is a test message to show up on the page just save it okay so here is your page first of all i'm gonna retrieve that command from the XML and show up on the page next i will uh, add a new command programmatically in the toolbox go to data and drag that data list over here uh, for now there is no data source I am adding a new data source which will be a XML based data source ok a data file would be a XML data file database.xml which is located at our folder uh, websites root and this thing that is necessary x path expression so, uh, so this expression tells the microsoft asp.net that where to get the data from the xml so my x path is commands slash command this is a point where it will retrieve the data from the database okay so the database data source is there but it will not show up any data uh, because the XML database is not uh, create this item template by itself. So go to the source mode, expand the data list, and add a new node item template. In the item template, I will say creating a table, adding a new row and a column where the message will pop up and uh, the message should come from the uh, xml so i'll use the asp.net annotations which will be xpath and what the xpath message so basically this message will come and show up over here in the first column so the next second row and the second column would be posted by uh, another xpath which would be a name uh, and in the bracket here would be the email address ok save it and just fire it without debugging so here you can see a message this is a test message to show up on the page posted by test user and in the bracket there will be as, uh, an email address we can do some formation like i want to bold 
the username b save it refresh it so this is the first message from the xml uh, i'll just copy paste it so that this is the test user 2 message 2 this would be the second message from the xml just refresh it and we'll come to know that the second message is already there okay the retrieval is so easy using the data list and the uh, xml data source now what we need a form to post the data by the user for this create a new table like four rows and two columns and okay first would be the name email message dragging the text box from here and the text box here in the email and the text box for the message uh, name these text boxes for example this is a txt name and this is txt email and the last one is txt message okay what we're gonna do is txt message should be a multi-liner so i'll setting the property text more to the multi-line that's it and putting a button here so that when it's clicked data should be on the database post okay double click on the post button and it create a handler for it I'm just showing up message message box uh, so this is a web page mm, just response dot write data is on its way save all and refresh it so here is a form i just like say user user at hotmail hello there and post so response is getting written uh, what we need to do is now save these three fields information into the xml file over here like here to do that we will have to program something like here uh, two or three needs things we need to import like system dot xml dot link classes and using system dot io that's it and using system dot io dot uh, okay not the last one that's it okay opening our xml file for that you will have a variable named x document name it doc is equals to x document dot load uh, so where to load the xml file it's on the database uh, it's on the root of the uh, website so i will just say database dot <coughs> i'm sorry and i'll need all the comments are posts by the users so i will say from items in doc dot descendants comment select item so what this line gonna do is this line gonna select all the comments on the xml file and store it in the comments variable okay now i will have to open this 
database.xml file and rewrite it with the new comment in it so for that I am using stream writer which will be a stream and stream uh, stream writer is equal to new stream writer and I am putting the name of the file so our name is database.xml okay and uh, closing the stream stream dot close and okay so here I will write the new XML file containing our record so if you look at the XML file here is the XML declaration line you will have to put it as it is in the XML file so just copy it and say stream dot right line and this line sorry and this line so we'll see uh, I'll just using brackets uh, using slashes here so that the double course prints as it is okay so what is the next line that uh, in the example file this commands copy it and say stream dot right line commands and here is the closing commands so here I'm gonna write all the commands first of all uh, my latest command should go first so I will say stream dot right line comment and a closing comment and then say stream dot right line my name name and txt name dot text and closing name so this will add the name to the database uh, with the help of copy paste I am adding email email and a message node So the email should come from txt email and message come from txt message <sighs> so good so if I run it it will just add my latest command to the database and close it nothing gonna happen to the old command it will all went off so I am just saying adding a command adding latest comment to the XML file and here adding all four comments to the XML file so all our comments are here in the comments variable so I'll just say for each okay for each what is this if you hover, uh, hover over it uh, sorry if you hover over it 